What happens when lava touches an iPad? Bulletproof glass or a shredder? Let's find out. First up, we've got a completely working iPad. Oh my gosh, is it going to be able to survive? Literal molten lava poured on it. I'm going to put this in the category of probably not. And I'm going to guess all of the things that lava is going to be taking on and seeing if we can guess correctly whether or not it will survive. This is the molten 1,100 degrees. It's how hot you have to get it. Jeez Louise. Obviously, do not try this at home. Let's see if this iPad's about to get destroyed. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. We've got tons of things to test. If this iPad gets destroyed, you got to hit the like button. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, my goodness. It's not just destroyed. It is cracked, broken, on fire. <laughs> it's absolutely broke. Oh, my gosh. A flamethrower just came out the side of the iPad. Oh, my Chill. Safe to say no one's using that iPad again. Five minutes later, once the lava's finally started to cool, you can really see the devastation. Is any part of it salvageable at all? Oh my gosh, 20 minutes. Oh. oh. <laughs> that is a hashtag rip. This is a military grade mobile phone. Take this thing and run it over with a car. Drop it from height. It is like a boomer phone, but it's got a nuke logo on it. Can this thing survive a nuke? Well, we're about to find out if it can survive lava. I I don't know, man. Like, I feel like there's a chance this thing could come out and still work. I'm going to go with it, it may still work, but maybe I'm underestimating the lava here. 1,100 degrees yet again. The lava's coming out, and oh boy, it is hot. Here we go. Here we go. I'm one for one right now. Can I get both of them right? Here comes the lava. Three, two. Oh, it's on fire. It's the screen's still working. The screen is still working. Oh, um, I can't tell if it's still working. I can't see the screen. Can we get a slow-mo replay on that, please? I think it did a pretty damn good job of keeping... Look, the lava's coming off it. This phone may be the most indestructible phone in the world. Okay, he's not finished pouring. This guy wants to destroy the phone. He just wants me to fail this one. Uh, he's kind of still intact. No. <laughs> it just felt a stand melted. <laughs> oh. My. And I thought that this thing was going to survive. Bro, it's a... Got giant piece of Mersha. At least it did better than the iPad, just saying. Lava versus ice. I think it's safe to say that the ice isn't going to survive. It's definitely going to melt. But what is it going to look like? What's it going to sound like? 25 kilograms of ice. I'm just interested to know. Is there a chance that any of this survives the lava? What do you guys reckon? Let me know. Wait, what the heck is that thing? You didn't say anything about weird machinery. This is ice versus lava, not some crazy ice cutting machine. Oh, is he going to put a hole in it and pour the lava in the hole? Well, that's not going to help, is it? Poor ice is already at a disadvantage if we're doing that. Okay, fine, fine. Put a hole in the ice. I guess that's where the lava's going to go. And at least it's protecting where the lava's going to be falling. Look, ice, just want to say, I'm wishing you good luck. But I don't think it's going to go well. Open up the lava. Show us that lava. Oh, my God. I wonder how much the lava temperature cools from the moment it's in there to the moment it gets poured. Look, and it's literally yellow. Here we go. Oh, oh my. Bit of an explosion. Instantly water pouring out. You know what? I may have underestimated the, the ice here. This ice is doing okay so far. Maybe it's cooling the lava faster than the lava can melt the ice. This could be a categoric win for the ice at this rate. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's pouring even more in. He's pouring even more in. All of the lava's come out. Oh my gosh, it's like slowly burying a hole. I don't think the lava's gonna be able to... Dude! Oh my... Listen to that sound! Listen! It's like someone doing loads of farts inside of ice. I've got to hand it to the ice. I may have to put that as a win because it basically just melted a little bit. And if it didn't put that little hole thing in at the beginning, it probably would have just fallen off it. What does it look like? What the heck? What kind of substance is that now called? Have we just made real life obsidian? We decided the ice did too well. And this time we're dropping a giant metal 1,100 degree ball into the ice. 
because that surely will fizzle its way all the way through. Can it reach the bottom? That is the question. Here it comes. Molten Bull versus 25. Oh my goodness, who's doing there? Double the melting molten. Three of them. Oh my gosh. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Dude, it still can't reach the bottom. It still can't reach the bottom. The ice remains intact. Oh my god. Lava versus eggs. And a watermelon. Look, eggs, I don't want to disrespect you at all. I'm not that keen on eggs anyway. But I don't think you're about to survive 1,000 degrees of lava. <gasps> what the heck? You just stuck a bit of lava on the bottom of it. Just to make it even more powerful. Look at that. It's the coolest substance I have ever seen. <gasps> Look at that. Dude, low key. The eggs haven't even moved. Have the eggs just defeated lava? Or is this lava about to hatch those eggs real quick? <laughs> How are the eggs still standing? Are eggs actually the strongest thing in existence? Have I severely underestimated them? Bro, the, the eggs barely moved. The lava's literally turned into obsidian. Look, bro, I, I'm gonna have to give this as a categoric win for the eggs. Look at this. Okay, look. Some of them have some of them have survived. <laughs> what? I never would have predicted that. Did any of you guys manage to guess that right? Okay, look, I'm I'm doubting myself now. Watermelon or lava? Like I'm starting to think that the watermelon may survive this at this rate. Ooh, that looks delicious. If you love watermelon, subscribe as well. <laughs> we often do watermelon videos here on the channel, so come and join us. It's totally free to subscribe. I think this watermelon holds a chance. If eggs can defeat lava. Surely a watermelon can do. Here we go. Who's going to win? Let's find out. Pour in the lava. Oh, that is the most satisfying thing. I have. That doesn't look like real life. Looks like I'm watching a video game and cooking the inside of the watermelon. It is literally molten watermelon juice. The watermelon is... I'm just saying the watermelon is still standing. This could be a categoric W for the watermelon at this point. He's pouring in as much as he can. He doesn't want this watermelon to win, but I think it could be GG. Oh, my gosh. Come, watermelon. Come on, watermelon. I'm team watermelon. Yes. It stood. It didn't break. It's turned to obsidian again. The watermelon wins. This is what it looks like from the inside. I'm literally gobsmacked. Watermelon versus glass. We're going to go on to bulletproof glass, but we're going to start with normal glass. This is just literally a sheet of glass that you could find in your single pane windows in your house. If it ever got... Oh, don't ever put lava on your glass, people. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely destroyed. Look at that. This is fire-resistant glass. Highly tempered. This could hold a chance. Oh, only if the temperature rises to 100 degrees. Well, we know that the molten lava is 1,100. I don't think it's going to survive. I'm just putting it out there. I think it's going to crack. Oh, it's, it's, it's doing it. Fireproof glass hasn't even... Mate, it's barely even... It's done nothing! Wait! Wait! What's this? Bro! What the heck am I... What? Is there water inside this tempered glass? I think it may have survived. I'm team lava now because I, I thought it was going to win. Come on, lava breakthrough. You can do it. Uh, it sounds like a drone going off. I think this could be GG. Oh! <laughs> yes! Uh, that was like almost didn't happen gotta say fireproof glass you my friend are extremely strong but not strong enough what the hell it's like popcorn underneath it they put popcorn in glass is that how they fireproof it ladies and gentlemen bulletproof glass we've got four layers of bulletproof glass considering it barely got through the tempered fire glass nah it's, it ain't getting through it it ain't getting through it. if a bullet can't get through it I don't care if it's 1,100 degrees. Lava, you ain't defeating this one. Bring on the lava. I'm so interested. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, it's doing the same as last time. Covering the base. We've got to remember, we've got to give it some time. Got to give it some time. It's doing absolutely nothing so far. Oh, am I hearing cracks? Oh, it's cooling. Dude. Boom. Oh, my Jeez Louise, almost gave me a heart attack. <gasps> it's cracking it. It's cracking it. What do they do to bulletproof glass? 1,100 degree lava can't break through it. And bullets can't penetrate it. 
It's, it's caused a few cracks, but it's safe to say if you were underneath that glass, I think you'd feel pretty safe. <gasps> the cracks are expanding. The, the glass is weighing itself, I think. Bulletproof glass survived. Let's go. I can't quite believe I'm saying this. Lava versus <laughs> a car. Now, out of everything I've just seen, the strongest part of a car is maybe the roof, maybe the windscreen, definitely not the wheels, I'd say. I don't know if any part of it can survive. Time to reinforce the car a little bit first and then heat up the metal that will ultimately turn into lava. Damn. Literally, it's just a normal piece of metal to start with. Look at this. Turn to literal molten lava. Car versus lava. I'm sorry. I think this is a rip in the chat for you, car. How much of the car will it destroy? That's the real question. Unless this car is bulletproof glass. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's breaking already. Oh, it's literally on fire now. This is a solid rip in the chat for the car. Wait, the glass are kind of holding up. Yo, this car's kind of tanky. Hold on. Glass is... Whoa, he's... Whoa! It's broken through. A car will not protect you versus lava. Before we do lava versus shredder, the leftover substance, as you see in this video, is obsidian. We're going to attempt to make an obsidian sword with that cool down lava. Just like this. Imagine literally owning a real obsidian sword. We're going to make a little bit of a shape inside. Sand seems to be the ultimate lava protector. If I was to battle lava, I would belly myself inside sand on a beach. Then you couldn't get me, okay? Let's heat that lava up and make ourselves a sword, baby. Oh my gosh, here we go. Is this going to work? A literal custom. Obsi oh my goodness. This is like oddly satisfying, super interesting, obsidian creating all in one. Like literally it cools down so quickly that in the air it's starting to turn into obsidian already. Will this even work? Only time will tell. We gotta let it cool down. Will it be as strong as obsidian in Minecraft? That's the question. Oh, starting to cool. It's still a bit red. He's a little bit of... Don't heat it up. If you heat it up it's never gonna cool down. Oh. <gasps> he's, he's attempting to pick it up. Have we created... Wait. Wait, don't, wait, 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 or liquid nitrogen? Holy moly. It's like the, the fastest way of cooling it down possible. Would that be enough to turn it into an obsidian sword? Oh, the handle's broken already. No. I think it needs to cool down more. You guys need to be patient. Obsidian crumbles. No, oh, it's not meant to crumble. Oh, you've broken it. What a fail to finish it off. Lava versus Shredder. What's going to win? I don't know. This is what a Shredder machine looks like. We've actually reacted to many shredding videos here on the channel. Let me tell you, this Shredder can break pretty much anything. And they've got lumps of lava. Is this how it starts its life? Little, little cute rock of lava. You're going to become very, very hot soon. Well, it's time to heat that lava up for the final experiment. Safety equipment always to be worn. <laughs> and if I haven't said it already, don't try this at home, people. Are you ready? Final experiment. Lava versus shredder. Who's going to win? So far, I've seen almost nothing defeat the shredder. It is extremely strong. Leave your votes down below. Let's see what happens. I think shredder's winning this. I mean, it helps the fact that the, obs that the lava is literal liquid. Can the lava break the shredder? I mean, surely they're just going to break their own shredding machine. Dude, look at all the lava getting crushed up straight through the shredder. Will any of it be able to break any part of this machine? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. What about the cooled obsidian after the lava has formed? This is the ultimate test. <gasps> Oh, Obsidian got destroyed. Guys, that was amazing. Huge thank you to all the lava channels for these experiments. Click on screen here to keep on watching. I'll see you on another video.